Good morning, Michael. Good morning, Mom. Are you okay? You look down. Well, you're not gonna be happy when you hear this, but I wet the bed last night. Michael James Hamilton, how dare you wet the bed last night? I'm sorry. I'm sure you are, as you now have to wear a nappy. A nappy? I'm afraid so, young man. Wetting the bed has made it clear to me that you still need nappies on, so you are going to wear them. I don't need a nappy. Yes, you do. I am going to put a nappy on you now, and then I'm going to go and change your bed sheets. Lie down and we will put a nappy on you. No. Naughty boy. Nappy, now. I'm ten years old, and I'm not a baby. I don't need a nappy. You wetting the bed tells me otherwise. You jolly well need a nappy, so let's get you into one. Yes, Michael, a nappy for you. Babies wear nappies. And you're yachting like a baby. Wetting the bed, and then nappy. But... No books. It's nappies for you because you wet the bed, so, come with me, and let's put a nappy on you. I won't let you put a nappy on me. You don't have a choice. I'm putting a nappy on you, and that is final. There. Now that you've got a nappy on, you can go and sit down in the living room and watch telly before breakfast. A nappy? He's got a nappy on. Michael has, of course. Why? Because he wet the bed. So, it might have been an accident. It can't be. Michael was just too lazy to go to the toilet last night, so he decided to wee the bed. Well, maybe we should keep him in nappies for the rest of the day. Actually, he is staying in nappies until he learns not to wet the bed again. Fair enough. Michael, why don't you go and switch on the telly while we make breakfast? Okay, Dad. Okay, Rachel. Let's make breakfast. Okay, Chris.